We're at Rebel House in Boca Raton, Florida with Chef de Cuisine Danielle Herring. Next up on their set list is a dish named after the popular 80s hit, Wayne Chung's Everybody Have Fun Tonight. We are doing a dish off our summer set list, and it's the Everybody Chow Fun Tonight. <laughs> It actually happens to be vegan. I'm out of here. <laughs> That's great. I love a good vegan dish. First, we're going to smoke the mushroom. I have my maitake mushrooms right here. Let's look at these. They grow in a cluster like that. They're really great. The smoke penetrates them pretty easily. I just like to blast it for a minute or two. Let it sit, yeah. It'll also keep them from getting bitter, too, because the creosote will start clinging to them and can actually make your tongue numb. I have some that are already smoked. It's just a nice light smoke that we're going for. Yeah, it's really nice. So these are our rice noodle sheets. It's about two orders worth right here. So and, more than Which enough. is good because there's two of us. We start with our seasoned wok. Add my shiitakes because I'd like to get a little bit of color on them. Mm -hmm. We can add the smoked maitakes. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my sweet potato greens and the stems. I just smelled that garlic and the smoke together. Wow, that's great. And we can add our chow noodles. God, that looks great. It smells incredible. The smear that we put on our plate is a roasted sweet potato and hose-on puree. Pretty dramatic. Those sweet potato greens are awesome. And then what we garnish this with are some yellow pea shoots. Then we shave over a little black summer truffle. Look at that little piece of Escape. Start chop on. What you and me eat it. Wow, sweet potato greens, super vegetal, super bright. Those chow fun noodles are incredible. The mushrooms, you get the smoke on them with the truffle. What a great vegan dish, too. Those two types of mushrooms give you kind of a meat quality that would be satisfying for somebody looking for a heavier meat dish. Here, eat with me before I tear the whole thing up. What do you like best about this dish? It's a different taste. I've never had a taste this good. Earthy and sweet and salty. The puree around the edge. Yeah, how about that? Makes it. Before you even get to the main courses, Rebel House treats you to one of over 600 varieties of popcorn. Mike knew I was a fan of the fathers of punk, the Stooges, so today we're making a popcorn concoction dedicated to their iconic lead singer. It's time to make some Iggy popcorn. We do popcorn at Rebel House instead of bread. This is going to be spicy blue cheese potato skin. We always start with salt and sugar, and then we have blue cheese powder. Yeah, all of it. We're going to take our bacon powder. This one's really tasty. How much bacon is that, do you think? And this was probably about eight ounces of bacon um, that started <laughs> with. <laughs> we have some of the roasted jalapeno powder. It's a little spicy, so not too much of that one. This is a sweet smoked paprika. It's going to add a, a little bit of smokiness to it. We also have butter powder. Can't forget your butter. Put the whole thing in. Yeah, we get all that in. We mix this all together really well. Give that a smell. You got your bacon, your smokiness. Yeah, you can smell all that in there. We have some fresh pop popcorn. Put that in with our powder. Jim, you want to toss that for me? Sure, absolutely. Oh, yeah. I made thousands of pounds of popcorn because I used to run a drive-in movie theater. This is some good stuff, man. That bacon's coming through. I'm getting a little bit of heat from the jalapeno. Wow, that blue cheese is awesome. The butter powder is great. This gets the meal started. It shows our guests that we're not messing around. We're coming Wow, that is flavor. really great. Unlike any seasoned popcorn I've ever had. Popcorn, the popcorn. Every day. Yeah, yeah the popcorn. every day it's a different flavor. It's delicious. A lot of time to try and sneak it out of here for the movies later. We have to come here every 600 times to try it again. <laughs> Rebel House has rocked my world with its great food and atmosphere. And before I go, co-owner Adam and I collaborate on a piece of art that I think will fit right in. Finally, it's 